What's up guys, Joe Musgrove. Um, I'm a San Diego boy, we're in my hometown playing, so I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a tour. I'm not the best with the stadium, but I know it decently well. So um, when I was actually in high school, I did a project where I was doing um, a career day and the career I wanted to be was a baseball player and they wouldn't let me do that. So I chose a, a color analyst, which was like Mark Grant's job. You know, the guy I was just visiting with. So I got to go up in the booth up there and I got to do uh, a game with them and have the headphones on and everything and check everything out. And, it was incredible memory I'll never forget. Did you call any plays, Joe? Um, no, I just had the mic on. I was just listening and taking my <laughs> notes and stuff. Uh, T-Mobile deck out there, the home run deck, that was actually where the original wall was. They ended up moving that all in. Um, that's where we had our season tickets when I was younger, when Brian I was about Giles 11 or 12. Brian Giles been moved in earlier. Yeah, Brian Giles, <laughs> Brian Giles was the guy we watched every night out there and right. Uh -huh. um, up there above the Penn Fed Westlake sign, it's a little beach bar now, but that actually used to be a sand pit. With a, uh, with a chain link fence in front of it so right. kids could play in the sand with That's the little right. bleachers up there. That's right. You got uh, right behind that, you got the park in the park, which is uh, back then it was $5 tickets. You can come in with the family, bring a picnic, food, drinks, whatever you want. And on the back side of that batter's eye, you got a big, huge flat screen. So you can sit out there and watch the game. There's a big wiffle ball field that's manicured like a major league field. Incredible. Um, the two bullpens, obviously, out and left with the uh, Randy Jones barbecue, mm -hmm. world famous out there. Um, Brand new scoreboard and everything. That whole, uh, the Estrella Jalisco landing, that's pretty new out there. One of the biggest scoreboards in baseball. Um, I'm pretty sure that might even be the biggest. It's gotta be the biggest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then uh, the Western Metal Building, which is like super unique for San Diego. But um, there's three different levels there. The fourth is that bottom left corner underneath where the 336 is, is actually a team store. And then uh, the three levels are all different levels of suites. And on that second level, they have a massive uh, buffet where they do nachos they have guys doing like specialty like San Diego type foods good Mexican food um, super unique though the Hall uh, Breitbart Hall of Champions is in there with all the Hall of Fame guys out of San Diego um, I mean you got all kinds of good breweries some of the best breweries in San Diego they're all lo located throughout Amazing. the stadium you got Lolita's Mexican food which is a which is a hot spot down here everyone grabs that and brings it into the park um, so there's nothing but good stuff. Joe, you know what ever really stops amazing me about this place? Yeah. Is that the skyline changes every single time we're here. Absolutely. <laughs> you know Absolutely. I mean? yeah, like, I mean, there's, there's a new building that pops up like every other month. Tons of new buildings now. And they got the Phil's Barbecue up there. That looks new. I didn't know that was there. Right. Um, yeah, but I had a couple of buddies actually that lived in this, this building right here behind the, the scoreboard. And it was incredible. Yeah, that didn't videos. cost them too much. Yeah. Oh, it's a pretty penny for sure. <laughs> but I mean, the view you get has got to be incredible, you know. So. Awesome.